And I'm hoping that people who have watched would be motivated to at least make the move, take a step, at least to help move our great nation to better heights. Um, we have a very special guest here who would like to pay tribute to His Excellency and wish him a happy birthday. So, ladies and gentlemen, can we all give this special... Please, can we be seated, ladies and gentlemen? May you be seated, please. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, for those of us who had to leave our busy schedules to be here today. We say thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we have... Please be seated. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Thank you. Moving on, um, we, have, we have a very special guest here today. He has come here to pay tribute to His Excellency. He's a very, very special guest, and I want us to welcome him on stage with a fantastic round of applause. And let's not keep, let's not stop. Let's just keep it coming. Let's keep clapping. He's a very, very special guest. And I'm excited that he's here. I can't, I just hope. Please keep it coming, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Excellent. of power uh, I would wish to acknowledge all that I hear but uh, due to time uh, I think I need to stand on the existing protocol uh, I think it is indeed a pleasure to be here today to celebrate with my younger brother, uh, of course, I, I have to say he's my younger brother because you are 55 today, and then we are 70 something, what is that about? So you are, you are, you are much, much younger. Uh, Baba Tunde Raji Pashwala has been one of the most uh, remarkable people in Nigeria. 
I am sure, even as you celebrate your birthday today, uh, your family, Lagos State, and Nigeria are quite proud of you uh, for your numerous contributions to national development. Um, I, I, I made no mistake when, when I appointed you as a minister. Uh, a lot of people came to me that it's too much on you, that you will break it down. I, I said, where, what was his position before? They say he's a governor. I say, governor of where? He say Lagos. I say, he's equal to the task. Uh, but all the same, I can remember clearly when, he came, when, when we came in power, 2015. I can remember the number of gray hair on your head. So it's not easy. It's, the gray hair is all over now. <laughs> so what all the same, that is to show that the job is not an easy one. But uh, be it as it may, you are serving your country and you are contributing a lot to it. So I think uh, the minister deserve some accolades. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the talk that uh, took place here. I, I was somewhere, so I was listening to all that uh, took place here on the stage. Uh, but the truth be said, until politicians and the electorates are willing and ready to change the perception or the concept of politics from being a business. So long you are ready to collect, then there is a problem. Because you cannot cease to give. If you are a use and then you want to contribute or you want to participate in politics, then I think you should be ready to stop collecting <laughs> and, and build your own political career. Because so long you are collecting, will you, will you see the person you are collecting from uh, out of there? Of course not. So that is by the way. I cannot conclude my note without talking about corruption <laughs> in Nigeria. Because this is one of the things that kept us where we are today. Uh, one person stealing what is the budget of another country in Nigeria. <laughs> one person. So I think uh, it is very necessary. All hands must be on deck to see that we end corruption in Nigeria. Uh, 